Have you ever wondered how this is created? All you know isn't all there is to know. There's a vast world beyond the edge of your thinking, waiting for you to discover. Open your eyes. Zoom into the future. Let me show you how it is done. Open After Effects and import your footage into your project. Drag your very first footage into a new composition. Next, we are going to track the motion of this footage. Click on the Windows tab and select Tracker. Then click on Track Motion and enable Rotation. Drag the point to the motion tracker point of your choice as shown above and click the Analyze Forward button as shown above. Once done, create a new null object and call it Tracking Data. Edit your target and select the Tracking Data Null Object. Then click Apply and apply the tracking data to the X and Y positions of the null object as shown above. Next, drag your starting footage into the composition and pre-compose it and name it Video 1. Then move all attributes into the new comp and hit OK. Next, rename the very first video, Tracking Video. Next, under the Effects and Presets window, search for Key Light and apply it to your tracking video layer using your color picker next to the screen color. Click the green part of the screen as shown above. Next, scale down and rotate the video as indicated above. Next, with the video one layer selected, draw a mask around the edges of the computer screen as shown above. Next, click on video one and parent it to the tracking data. You can see the video has been tracked to the same movement of the screen as shown above. Next, create a new null object and call it Zoom 1 Control as shown above. Next, select the three bottom layers and parent them to the newly created null object as shown above. Next, set a keyframe to the position and scale of the null object as shown above. Adjust and position as shown above When you are done, apply an Easy Ease effect to the selected keyframe as seen above. You should have this movement as shown above. Next, holding down the Alt key while all the keyframes are selected, move the keyframes to the right a bit as shown above. Next, with the tracking video layer selected, Mask out the tracking point as shown above by setting a keyframe for the mask path and adjust frame by frame as shown above. Next, open the scale property for video 1, set a keyframe, and adjust as shown above. Also, set a keyframe for the position and adjust as shown. Next step, select all the layers, right-click and pre-compose them, and call it Transition 1, then hit OK. Next, drag your next footage into the composition as shown above. Next, we are going to track the motion of this footage, enable both the scale and rotation properties, and click on the Analyze Forward button after you are done setting your track points. Once done, create a new null object, call it Tracking Data 2, and apply the tracking data to it as shown above. Mm -hmm. 
Next, parent the transition 1 to the tracking data as shown above. Next, apply the same key light effect to the green part of your footage as shown above. Next, scale down the transition 1 footage to fit the screen of the mobile phone as shown above. Also adjust the position. Then mask out the edges of transition 1 as shown above. Next, create a new null object. Select all the down layers and parent it to the null object as shown above. Then set the keyframe for the position and scale of the null object and adjust as shown above. Select both keyframes and move them forward. Apply the Easy Ease effects to them. You should have this movement as shown above. Next, select all layers, pre-compose them, name it Transition 2, and hit OK. Next, create a new composition. Make it 3840 by 2160 pixels. Call it Final Transition, and hit OK. Create a new solid layer, purple color, and call it BG for background. Create a new text and type the word Zoom. I am using the font style Abnus Regular. Align your text to the middle as shown above. Increase the size of the text and make these changes as seen above. Next, Move to your main comp and drag the final transition comp into the main comp. Move the composition in your timeline as shown above. Next, right click and create a new null object. Then select both the final transition and transition to and parent it to the null object as shown above. Next, open the scale and rotation properties of the null object. You can do this by selecting the null layer and hitting the letters P and S on your keyboard. Next, move the final transition comp back to the beginning of the composition. Turn off the eye of the final composition so it's no longer visible. Then move your playhead to the point you want the final transition to come in. Set a keyframe for the position and scale at that point. Move forward a few frames and adjust the keyframe. Next, Select the final comp and turn on the eye. Your results should look like this. Next, open the scale property for the final transition at the current location of your playhead and scale it in to fit the composition. Set a keyframe for the position of the null object at that point. Next, open the final transition composition and cut out the purple background as shown above. Next, switch to your main composition and paste the purple background into the composition and move it to the very bottom as shown above. Next, selecting the null layer, adjust the position of the first keyframe as shown above. Next, set a keyframe for the position of transition 2 at that very point and adjust the position as shown.
Next, move your keyframe to the very beginning and adjust the position of Transition 2 as shown above. That is how these transitions were made. I hope you find this tutorial very helpful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get notified on new updates. Thank you for watching.